Oh yeah, as promised, Final Fantasy IX. I'm Paul, Game Squad. So listen, this is probably the first Final Fantasy game that I beat. Um, so this one holds a special place in my heart. Um, this one, in my opinion, on the PS1 trio is the best story in terms of just shit that's going on. Uh, seven is incredible, but I just, I think nine just ever so slightly, like, ekes it out in terms of story and, and character development. There's just a lot of good storytelling in this game. As you see, like, the characters and, and what they represent. Yeah, so like, I don't know, like a, a lot of this game rubs people the wrong way because I guess the, the battle system's a little slow. Um, it's it's too fantasy-like. It's not like 7 or even 8 where it's, it's more realistic to a, a point for like character models and stuff. Uh, but let's get right into it. New game. Let's go. And I will shut up for... Just about all of the cutscenes so you can enjoy them. That is our main character. I, the actual pronunciation of his name is Zidane, but I fucking refuse to call him that because of the way his name is spelled. So we are going to refer to him as Zidane or Zidane or whatever, just not fucking Zidane. Before we light the candle over here in the middle of the room, let's move around and collect some shit. We got a potion. That restores some life. Gill is money. I think that's it for the shit to get. I don't think there's anything else floating around. No, just the uh, the ship's information. So we're on the the Prima Vista theater ship. It's a, you know, the ship that you saw. It's flying. Uh, and its port of registry is Lindblom. And the shipwright is Zebolt Shipyards. And a lot of thought was put into this game. Alright, let's light this candle. So you see this name as I take a sip of my coffee? How do they get Zidane from that? There's a fucking E at the end of it. Zidane. End of story. Now, 
Hell yeah, I'm late. It's random shit now. So this fight teaches you a main function of the game. This is the battle. The, uh, the, the battle segment. So, you know, you can want to read this for yourself. That's basically how it's working. I know how it works, just kind of teaching you folks how it works. But there's a command here called steal. So we're going to just try to steal from this guy until I get what I want. So we that. Stole a potion, couldn't steal anything, which means it didn't, uh, didn't succeed. The thing that I want is the Mage Masher. And it's a weapon for Zidane that's pretty good at this point in the game. Oh, come on. Sometimes this could take forever. And I apologize. Oh, boy. It's funny, I did like a, a, a test playthrough just to kind of get my bearings and refresh my memory. And on the first steal attempt that I did, I stole the Mage Masher, which is typical now that I'm recording. It's just not getting stolen at all. <laughs> and the percentage is just way down on it, I guess. Oh, uh, come on. Let's get it. I mean, God damn it! this is a band of thieves and they can't steal a, a simple weapon from a guy wearing a ridiculous fucking mask. Good Christ, and there's four of them trying to steal. So this is one of the hang-ups of the game. But it's the same thing in 7, the Steel Command in Final Fantasy 7, if you ever played that, is just as annoying. Because it goes by percentages. Got it. Okay, now we can attack him. Thankfully it wasn't too painful for everybody, right? That's what I thought. So let's just kind of put the pedal uh, to the metal here and just keep slashing at this with the stupid mask and get through this battle. So the battle, as you can see, is turn-based, which is, I think, beautiful for the older Final Fantasy games. Uh, in terms of newer Final Fantasy games, I like the combat system in 15 and the 7 remake. I kind of like that style. But if I was to pick one that I prefer, it's definitely this and the turn base, because it makes for way more strategizing. So that's Baku, their boss. <laughs> I love how that's written out. Cantalus, the infamous band of daring thieves. That's us. Shakespeare type of play.
<laughs> That's when I kidnapped Queen Braun, right? Nah, we're gonna go with this one. There is something special if you pick this one like a million fucking times, but we're not gonna do that in this playthrough because that's just monotonous. <laughs> He's got a little doll. Still one of the best intros ever. Yeah, Final Fantasy Night. This game was such a treat, and I'm so fucking pumped to be playing this with you folks right now. So let me get to the Kingdom of Alexandria. Castle Town. I meet one of the main characters, and that's Vivi. Anything that I miss on uh, walking around, uh, we'll get to him a little bit later. Rat kid. Cause there's like hidden shit all around in this game that you can just pick up. I just want to make sure I get it all. I just oh, there's so many fucking kids in the goddamn way. So all the nobles are going through, getting ready to go to the castle for the big event, which is the play. There's some stuff over here. Yes, there is some stuff over here. You know what? I don't like the walk. Hang on. We have to configure it. PTB is going to be active. I want the default movement to be run. I want fast field message. I want fast battle speed. We're going to stick with the normal window color, but the classic is blue. Uh, so if you guys want me to change this at any time, just uh, let me know in the comments. I'll turn the vibration on just because. Okay. Oh, that's better. So now we're just exploring right now. This is the castle town of Alexandria. There's not much to do at this point in Juncture, but there are there's a card game in, in this, like a mini game. And there's a secret over here. Oh, it's not there yet. Why isn't it there? Oh, that's right. There's this fucking hippo guy. We'll get to him in a second. Let's talk to this kid because he has a cat that's missing and he gives us some shit. Mittens, he ran away. I 
have to go find Mittens. Mittens is all the way back at the beginning. I mean, like, the beginning, beginning. Where's this hippo guy that says his cards are in a secret spot? I think he's right over here somewhere. I thought he stands over here. Oh, boy. Maybe I have to find the cat first? I always thought the hippo was funny. His name is Hippo, and my name is Paul, so. <laughs> Little things. Let's, all right, here's the cat. And then, like, he won't give us anything here. This little fucker goes all the way back to where we just talked to him, so we have to go all the way back there. You're like a fucking asshole. There's also cards to get over here, too. Oh, yeah, there's a card. The card game is actually really bad. At number 8, Final Fantasy VIII, they had a card game, and that one was actually good. This one sucks. I'm not going to show you too much of it, just because it's a waste of time. But you could, like, challenge just about anybody by pushing the square button on them instead of the X to talk to them. So now that I got the cat, I wonder if Hip Hall is over here. No, not yet. But why not? <clears throat> That's strange. I guess because I'm paying attention to more of it now because, it, you know, I'm recording this for a playthrough. But it's always just been like, oh, there's there's the hippo and the secret stash of cards is in the bell tower. When you pull the, uh, when you pull the rope. I mean, I guess it's not important. Let's just progress with the story. Because it's just... He just has three cards. Yeah, we're going to show him the tickets. Okay, okay, sorry, so if none of that made sense right there, it's because I had to pause it to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so I had to edit out the pause, and I totally forgot to turn my microphone back on, so I was just kind of talking as I walked from the tent to this point, and no one heard me. <laughs> I had to turn the microphone back on. That's okay. I'm back, no need to worry. Oh yeah, it's clear. Let's go. Did I 
I bump something on the, uh, no, that one, okay. <laughs> it's very dangerous, so why don't I go first here? Yeah, okay. And that is a Moogle. Yeah, you use them to save the game. And they have a mail system uh, to Mognet. That's interesting. You could, it's like uh, you become their mailman. And you could use a tent if you have one in your item screen to fully heal when you get to them. So now that the, the Moogle fell down, the rat-faced boy is going to go up the, the ladder now ahead of us. What an asshole. And that is a Moogle named Stiltskin. He travels and sells items, and we run into him later. He's like a, a side quest. Keep Rat Kid waiting. Now we go up. not gonna fall. Oh, fuck! I guess it fell! <laughs> what a schmuck. Alright, there's some shit to collect over here. And we finally get the name screen for Vivi. That's Puck. We see him again as well much later on in the game. I want to go that way. Because there's stuff to get. The Monets. You gotta collect the Monets. So I'm going to leave this off right here, because uh, when I go further up and get to Puck, it's going to trigger into the castle, and I don't just I don't want these episodes to go so long. And it's the intro to the game does take quite a bit to say. Actually, no, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna keep this going. We're gonna go past this, and I'm just gonna. What I'll do is I'll make the episode between major save points. So some of them might be a little lengthy, but I think I think it's going to be worth it. If they become a little lengthy, let me know in the comments, and I will adjust how I make this uh, for you guys to enjoy the most. Seems troubled. Love that dude. 
I always pictured Queen Bra with like a Miss Piggy voice. <laughs> huh. This is a pretty good cutscene for being like 21 years old. Now, Baku tells us the, I guess, the, how, how the story begins for I Want to Be Your Canary. And we begin the play. And let our plot unfold. This is going too fast for you guys because you can't read the whole speech bubble before it's gone. It's not my fault. It's doing it automatically uh, when it's the play. Man, this is so cheesy. Like It's just like a big Shakespeare thing that they're putting on for the castle. But this is the perfect cover to come in and kidnap the princess. So we go into a fake fight. This is just for show. It's basically more of a tutorial. That's all this serves as. But there's nothing to steal or anything. Just get rid of Zanero and Benero, and then attack King Leo. Senna dies, like, really easily. All the time. Yeah, he actually really sucks. But, I mean, it's a good thing. He's not one of the main characters. He's the main character right now, but not really moving forward. Taste steel! <laughs> And these moves are just special effects for the crowd, because it's, you know, a theater production. I, I think we could have not had this in the game and be fine, in my opinion. I, I actually, I think this is unnecessary. Come back. The music for this segment is fucking awesome. And this is a little mini game. It's basically Simon Says, and if I get a hundred percent. Um, I'll get 10,000 Monets, which are Gil. So, let's, uh, I'm gonna try not, I can't talk here because I have to concentrate, so let's see if I get it.
I, I think I got it. And I got them fast enough too where... So it's going to show me how many nobles were... Okay, 100 of 100 were impressed. And if Queen Braun is quite impressed, we get 10,000 Monets. Quite impressed. And no, I do not want to do an encore. 10,000 Monets. I'd like to see. And then with that, Blank and Zidane retreat into the castle and put on Knight's Armor as a disguise. <laughs> and Blank just goes on a tirade right here. Armor's way too big. The back's real itchy. The boots are wet. The gloves are all slimy. There's cookie crumbs in my pockets. <laughs> And that's an ogle op. Remember, he has the ogle op, and that will be key. What do we have here? Sure is dressed funny. Pay no attention to that. I don't know why that's been popping up in my fucking games. It's, I think it's a PlayStation issue. Like, I own these games. Spitting the game out. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Looks at her ass. Maybe you're right. I don't know you. <laughs> Shit. Get up, Blank. That was Princess Garnett. These two fucking morons. They say the same thing, basically, but one talks normal and the other one talks like Yoda. If there's any characters that could just stricken from this game, it's these two fucking guys here. Oh boy. Their theme is good though, like the song playing.
get the name. Steiner. Wow, he's 33? I didn't know that. I don't know why they tell us his dominant hand. That doesn't really make a difference. It's Captain of the Knights of Pluto. Steiner is one of my favorite characters in all the Final Fantasy games, by the way. <laughs> He's the captain of the fucking night, uh, Pluto morons. All present and accounted for. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's only two of you. The fuck's the other six? <laughs> so now we go in here and we do a little savey poo. Is there anything for Magnet? Oh, he's just gonna tell us about Magnet. It's no delivery. I basically just told you every every move you get to, you just click the Magnet and see if there's anything there. So I'm gonna save this, and next time we're gonna play as Steiner, and shit's about to get real. So I'll catch you next time with Game Squad, and remember to like and subscribe. And th thanks for hanging out. With